This is section 3.10, Related Rates. So this section has a bunch of different types of word problems, but as we go through, the, through this example, we're also going to go through a step-by-step -step process of not only how to approach this problem, but also lots of other different types of problems in this section. So let's go ahead, go through our example. This is really similar to number 17 in your book, and it tells us, a man of height 1.5 meters walks away from a 4-meter lamppost at a rate of 1 meter per second. Find the rate at which his shadow is increasing in length. All right, so step one is draw a picture. So it tells us a man of height 1.5 meters. Here's my man. And he has a height of 1.5 meters. So his height is 1.5. And he's walking away from a 4-meter lamppost. So here's my lamppost. Beautiful. And the lamppost is 4 meters high. So this height is 4 meters at a rate of 1 meter per second. And it's asking, find the rate at which his shadow is increasing. So I can't really label anything else, but I am going to say that he's walking away. And this distance that he's walked away, I'm going to label x. And we're interested in his shadow, and his shadow is going to be over here. I'm going to label this value as y. All right, here's my picture. Step two, I'm just going to write down my givens. So basically what I drew in this picture just now in mathematical, mathematical terms. So my givens is that the height of the man is 1.5. I also know that the height of the lamppost is 4 meters. And also what they told me is that he's walking away at a rate of, four, of 1 meter per second. Okay, whenever you see this word rate, you want to think derivative. Because remember, the derivative is just the instantaneous rate of change at a specific point. So the rate that he's walking away is 1 meter per second. I'm going to represent that using math terms as dx over dt is equal to 1 meter per second. Because remember, I said x is the value at which he's walked away, that distance. So the rate at which x is increasing is 1 meter per second. OK, written down my givens. Step three, write down what I'm looking for. So go to the last sentence. And it's asking for, find the rate at which his shadow is increasing. OK, remember, I represented his shadow by this value y. I'm going to represent the rate of his shadow, remember rate means derivative, as dy over dt. At what rate is his shadow, y, increasing with respect to time? Okay, so steps one through three, I just rewrote the problem in pictures and math terms. Step four, I'm going to come up with an equation that relates all these things together. So a lot of times with these types of problems, there's going to be triangles, and you'll probably either use Pythagorean theorem or you'll use similar triangles. Looking at my picture that I have here, I see that if I were to draw a line all the way down to this bottom, I have two similar triangles, right? I have this big triangle with a lamppost, and I also have a smaller triangle with the man. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to relate the height of my lamppost and the base of my lamppost with the height of my man and the base of the smaller triangle here, the y. So my equation will end up being the height of the lamppost is 4 over the base of this big triangle is x plus y equals, on the right side, I have the height of my man is 1.5 over the base of this small triangle is just y. All right, so remember, what I'm looking for is dy over dt. I know eventually I have to take the derivative, but before I get there, let's go ahead and simplify this out a little bit. So remember, whenever you have proportions like this, you can just cross multiply. And when you do that, you get 4y is equal to 1.5x plus 1.5y. Then just moving your y's on one side, you get 2.5y equals 1.5x. OK, this equation is only in terms of two variables. There's not much more simplifying I can do. So from this point, I can go ahead and take the derivative. Because remember, what I'm looking for is dy over dt. So I take the derivative of both sides. On the left here, the derivative of 2.5y this gives me 2.5 times dy over dt equals, on the right, same thing, 1.5 dx over dt. OK, I'm solving for this value here. But remember, dx over dt, that's not an unknown. They gave me that. They told me that's 1 meter per second. So I can go ahead, plug that in. On the left here, I'm left with my dy over dt equals, on the right, I have my 1.5 times dx dt, which is 1. And I can go ahead and divide over this 2.5. And now I just plug all that in, solve for dy dt. 
When you do that, you get that dy dt is equal to 0 0.6, don't forget your units, meters per second. And that's it for this problem. So, brief recap, steps one through three, I just wrote down what they told me in the problem. Drew a picture of it, wrote it down in mathematical terms, and also wrote down what I was looking for. So that in step four, I knew what kind of equation I needed. Since they're looking for a dy over dt, I know that eventually I'll need to take the derivative. So once I made my equation, I used my similar triangles to set up a proportion, solved it out, took the derivative, and from there I was able to plug things in and solve for my dy dt. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts covered in this video are true no matter what calculus class you're in, but all the sections and problems I referenced were from this textbook right here. And remember that if you're a registered Baylor student, we offer free tutoring on the first floor of Sidrich. You can either schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment online or just drop in whenever you're available during our business hours for free tutoring. For more information, feel free to visit our website.